Elsa has no reaction to this because it's actually a reflection of the viewer's thoughts. That is a terrible way to transport eggs. Elsa is still not satisfied after sexing two guys. Register 7 is now open for business, just like Elsa Gardner's vagina. Yeah, no, you're not winning me over with the same thing again. Can we get back to the autistic guy this show is allegedly about? I cheated on my husband. Wow, she's really incapable of shutting up. Animals sprint at top speed when escaping a predator. From the very beginning, the show says Teen Sheldon's passion is Antarctica. But then he references chickens, bees, iguanas, mantis shrimp, and now general predator-prey relations. He can have more than one passion, but the way it's presented just seems like random autism things in a blender. Clarifications, people. They are important. I was hoping she'd still be hurt. Do you hear yourself? Excuse me, could you keep your head still? Your ponytail is hitting me in the face. Did no one in 18 years teach him that he could say things like that, or just walk away? Three family members who need to miss Casey's big win? Three contrivances to remove them. Poon. It went all the way through the drainage pipes? Yeah, that phone is fucked. Parents didn't show up for the big game or similar school activity cliché. Who are these two people specifically rooting for Casey? Seriously, I have no idea who that is. There's no way you could have predicted he would have grabbed that girl's ponytail. You would have. Probably. So far, Elsa has demonstrated zero predictive power for her son's behavior. I bought these churros with my own money, so you can't have one. Please don't ask. Hey! I didn't ask. Teen Sheldon looks annoyed when he should appreciate the autisticness of Casey's logic. The school bell also features a bat signal, causing this group of gossipers to disappear instantly. Um, I can't hear you. I'm wearing noise-canceling headphones. That's not how noise-canceling headphones work. They actually make it easier to hear speech. But I'm getting an A in biology, and you're only getting an A-. minus. That wouldn't benefit me at all. Wow, so many things wrong with that line. First of all, with how much Teen Sheldon knows about animals, and how literally he interprets language, realistically, he would be giving answers that are so correct, the less knowledgeable teacher marks them as wrong, thus lowering his grade. Second, how does a helicopter mom who never lets her son do anything on his own create a straight-A student? Show is trying to have its cake and eat it too. Third, A's don't mean you're good at the subject. They don't even mean you're good at school. They mostly just mean the teacher likes you. Which fourth, we've seen that they don't. Fifth, studying is not a zero-sum game. The person with the higher grade actually benefits more. We've got science on this. Sixth, minuses are made up. It's a fancy fruit. It's a sex fruit, Miles. I already don't like the therapist character. Can she please not get her own contrived storyline? She should have gotten you your favorite flower, Ranunculus. I can't believe you've remembered that. Because he wants to bang you, which is why he broke into your house and dropped a strawberry. Can we just skip to the part where you figure it out? She wants me to study with her, even though we're both getting A's. Did you just admit that minuses don't matter? Weigh the pros and cons. That's what I did when I went to the pet store to get a turtle. Herein lies the problem with our lead character. He's just as unlikable as everyone else. But not because he's autistic. Those traits just fail to redeem him. His vile behaviors are toxic masculinity and objectification of women. Here he is ranking suitability of girls based on physical attributes, comparing them to tortoises with no awareness that these things aren't equivalent. His therapist says get a girlfriend, and he interprets that as someone to have sex with, as if there's no difference. And he gets no opportunity for character growth because no one, not his therapist, sister, dad, certainly not mom, no one explains to him that his misogynistic behavior is wrong because women are people. The message seems to be either that we're supposed to blame this on autism rather than upbringing, gross, or that we should excuse his behavior because he's autistic and doesn't know better, also gross. I'll never find a girlfriend as good as Edison. I don't know, has Paige killed any puppies lately? Sign shaming, I mean, slut stopping, I, I mean, you know what I mean. Why? Is this implying that Elsa is literally hallucinating, not just as a plot device? The autism stuff is bad enough, I don't want to see what Robia does with a voice hearer character. Fuck this entire scene. It's beyond bad writing. I'm offended that it even exists. I, I can't even... You know what? No, forget it. It's, it's not even laughably bad. It's just infuriating. I, I'm not doing it. No, skip it. Family dinner with all your favorite foods. Doug, apple pie a la mode. You'd think they would already know what their own favorite foods are without the forced exposition dump. 
I get that sometimes you have to expose it and you just can't find a less awkward way, but I'm pretty sure us knowing the gang's favorite foods is not important information. Bacon wrap figs. I haven't eaten pork in two years. At first I thought this was just Elsa being terrible at mothering, but then I realized it's supposed to be somehow autism's fault as the normal child gets ignored, which is a lazy myth that needs to die. He seems okay. Stop beating up on yourself. And start being hard on me, your wife who just cheated on you. I just wanted you to know, and I don't think I'm breaking any rules here. Oh, suddenly you care about the HIPAA rights of your client? Doesn't really make a difference, right? I mean, he's still autistic. It doesn't change how he is in the world. This line came so close to being a good line. The problem is that Teen Sheldon should be the one saying it, not his dad or any other non-autistic person. Thick hair like Arctic Fox. There's only one list you need. She's a girl who wants to touch your peen. So it doesn't matter if you find her unattractive or even repulsive? Or what if you're asexual or demi and have to make what a connection first? What if she has lots of STDs and girl you're not could be comfortable a Nazi with or a serial killer, but if she wants to touch your peen to kill you just you know, because you're shooting their boundaries and respecting their own. Or what if you're just not in the mood for sex at this she particular moment? Because it's really difficult to have sex on a regular basis. It's still matter in the bedroom. She hasn't said that she wants to touch his peen. That's not a list. She's a girl and wants to touch you sexually are two things, so technically that is a list. You want me to throw balls at Paige? Clearly he does. Your balls. Come on, Zahid, missed opportunity. Would you like to hang out with me? Not in school? You shut up, are you kidding me? Yes. Why is she so excited to hang out with him? She barely knows him and he's mostly been rude to her. And not like normal autisticness that stuck-up neurotypicals think is rude. Actually rude. Oh, I'm sorry for her. Thank you, sister unit. Your burn has been received. Therefore, we shall now perform the synchronized conversation ending protocol. Good day. Hey, are you sure your parents are cool with me coming to dinner? Yeah, they're fine with it. Because they don't know. Casey has no motive for this deception, other than, I felt like it. Evan. Mr. Gardner. Dad. Why are we all saying each other's names? Dad is not a name. Tell an embarrassing story about yourself. Helicopter mom thinks she knows how to relate to teens better than five people who are teens. Well, to be fair, they have high-functioning adolescents, so they don't know what it's really like. You talk to Julia? No. Why do you need to lie about that? Talking to your son's therapist is not a crime. I say stuff like that too. You're right, Elsa. You sure can pee farther than Julia can. This is the wish my husband was younger and hotter face. Determine whether Paige has what it takes to be your bae. I thought all she needed was her gender and a desire to touch his peen. We need you at the same school as Sam. For what purpose? To hand him his lunch money? That's not a necessary task in the first place. Just put it in his bag. And he relies on you heavily. No, he doesn't. Zahid. That's an interesting name. Where is your family from? Vermont. Racism. But also calling out the racism, so... A lot of things going on, don't you, sweetie? Doug does not act like Paige is a threat to his property. I'm just asking for consistency. I have to do the parent group scene, don't I? You need to know that I'm not just picking on this show because I think it makes good videos. It's really an awful, hateful script. Atypical is basically an avatar of the Autism Society of America. What I mean is, if we all played a game called What If Your Scammy Hate Organization Were a Video Series, Taco would be vaxxed, obviously, Autism Speaks already makes their own movies, and Autism Society would be atypical. Alright, consider that your trigger warning. Here we go. And I know it may seem silly to be celebrating a 15-year-old making a three-word sentence. You got your autism on my autism. Also grading humans by arbitrary numerical figures. Also grading humans. Also grading your own child. It was one of the top five moments of my life. If that made the cut, then your life must be one of the top five most boring lives. Applauding your own share. Higher functioning kiddos. <sighs> You made it three episodes without that bullshit, why start now? Come to think of it, why is this even in a show called Atypical? This is the most typical depiction of a parent group I've ever seen. Higher functioning kiddos. Also, Teen Sheldon definitely isn't a kiddo, and I really wouldn't call a 15-year-old that either. It is so easy for those of us with higher functioning kiddos to forget what it's like for some of our other parents. There's two ways you could interpret that. 
Either she literally means forgetting how your child used to be, thereby admitting that autistic speech development is just another trajectory, or she is claiming intimate knowledge of the experience of being a different parent raising a different child who she herself just said is hashtag not like my child. But autistic people knowing about autism? That's crazy! Sho thinks Elsa being a cheating whore will distract us from how terrible all of the other moms are. Sho is wrong. We actually prefer to use people-first language here. I take it back. Elsa is not the worst mom ever. This bitch is! We don't say autistic kid. We say kid with autism. Person before diagnosis. The word you just used was kid, not person. Also, it's not a fucking diagnosis, because diagnoses aren't for medical things! We don't do that at our house. By which you mean you don't talk about autism at all, because if you don't talk about it, it doesn't exist. I'm so sorry to interrupt you again. You don't seem sorry. You seem more like a smug, self-entitled Kant on a power trip. I hereby retract all my punching wishes from Elsa and deliver them to Kathy. I'd just like to clarify that Kathy is the name of the character, not the actor. If the script said to act like a smug self-entitled cunt, then Wendy Braun the actor is doing her job excellently. There is no getting better in autism. Doug didn't say his son was becoming less autistic. And even if he did, that's not the reason you should object to the word better. Not a curable disease. You just called it a diagnosis 35 seconds ago. Contradicting yourself. It's a neurological condition, not a curable disease. Also, neurological conditions, which autism is not, can be gotten better from. A concussion is a neurological condition. You also heal from it. You know, you know, ah. He means that Sam is having more success using his replacement behavior. Elsa models to the group how to speak more offensively than the way Doug just spoke. Replacement behaviors in response to environmental stimuli. Hey Elsa, how's that science paper on rat psychology coming along? Still dictating your summaries? What? It's not about rats? You're actually talking about a human fucking being? That is great news. If you can even comprehend the convoluted behaviorist news she just shat out of her mouth. Doug, would you like to add anything else? At this point, I think that qualifies as bullying. A weird trial and error behaviorist kind of bullying, but what else would you expect from autism moms? No, I'm good. Ah, you can see the fuck you in his eyes. Nice boundaries there, Doug. If you had told Kathy to shut up or stormed out of the room, I would have took a sin off. Oh well.